Alright guys, welcome to another Android quick tip. This is efficient fading animation. So, as you know, drawing an Android is quite expensive. And in particular when you're doing animations, they can get very, very expensive very quickly. One of the hardest animations to do efficiently is the alpha animation, or essentially, you know, making a view more or less transparent. So of course you know, it has to redraw, but if you've got a lot of views sitting on top of other views and you're trying to like draw and you're trying to animate like the top ones or you're trying to cross fade, it can get very difficult very fast. So what I'm going to show you is, is I found a way of fading in large groups of complicated layouts or large groups of views in complicated layouts in and out very, very efficiently. So uh, how this works is instead of fading in a series of views. We're going to show you fading in first. So instead of fading in a series of views, what we're actually going to do is we're going to fade out a top layer. So I'll show you my layout. Here's the layout file. And if we look inside the uh, the a code, it's uh, a lot of weights. So this is nested linear weights, which are very inefficient. Um, you should really only use a uh, linear layout weighting if absolutely necessary. As the linear layout weights tend to be difficult, they tend to require a lot of calculations in order for them to work. Uh, each one, each you know, weight has, or parent has to measure all of his children twice. And this are, these are nested, which means that the, all these text views are getting measured four times, which is a bit excessive. So essentially all we have here is a large series of layouts which are a large series of views which if I comment out this view uh, shows itself as a series of hello world text and we're going to fade in this very very efficiently that will fade correctly um, all devices um, even older devices will be able to fade this thing correctly so I wrapped everything in a frame layout and put a view just a plain view over uh, the top so it's basically covered with a white sheet and that's all this is in my in my activity I get the view I create a fading out animation and then I start it and uh, when the uh, animation is finished I set the original views visibility or the, the cover view to invisible uh, or gone which means it won't take part in any layouts or drawing or anything like that so it's gone so that's how this works um, now I'm going to show you what it looks like running on a Nexus 5 so as we run this as you can see we got a beautiful fading animation so if we turn this up to 3000 to slow the animation down, make it three seconds long, you'll see it fades in beautifully. Perfect fading animation. This will work for um, a lot of older phones like the S2, uh, or the Galaxy S2. I ran this on in work, and it had, a, you know, it was a series of large, complicated images uh, laid out com in a very complicated and hierarchical way, and it faded out perfectly, or faded the images in perfectly. You can also fade out if we just set the view to be visible at the end. So we start off with an invisible view, fade it in over them. So if we fade in an invisible view over the top layer over it, it'll look like the others are fading out. So we'll just reverse this. And in our view, we're going to set it to Android uh, visibility to vis or invisible. And we'll run this again, and it should fade out, or fade the views out. And as you can see, the views fade out marvellously. So that's it, guys, for this quick tip. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.